Let's skip the formalities and move on to the part where I rile you up before you can use your powers. Oh, I see somebody has finally summoned up the courage to fight back. 
Come and get me. Stop running away! <laughs> running away? You run away from danger, not from fluffy bears. For now, I'm just toying with you. Huh. Cursed cat demon. I'll make you pay for your arrogance with interest. You insist on calling me a demon, do you? This is getting tedious. You could at least try to entertain me with some witty repartee. In the meantime, do keep trying your best to destroy me, okay? You're doing really well. Entertain yourself! Tell me, Teddy, as you confronted that monstrous fish woman, did you ever wonder how much of her realm was her own doing, and where Alicia's subconscious began? What the tarnation are you raving about? Her envy of human girls consumed her and brought her to ruin. But that's not all. Starting with her subjects, the whole ocean world has been made to suffer, becoming polluted and corrupt. I don't blame you for slicing her to death. But did you hear her singing? Ugh. That was the main reason I killed her. Very droll. But I know full well that you hated the rot that permeated her realm. Well, are you sure it was all the demons doing? How much of that perverse world do you think sprang from Alicia's own mind? Stop that! Stop talking about Alicia like she has anything in common with you. Oh, come now. I'm just making idle chat. I was just thinking of offering you another point of view. What if it were Alicia's imagination that created a welcoming place for that morbidly envious demon? Now you're really getting me riled. Alicia isn't like that. Oh, my dear Teddy. But that's the point. Alicia was also like that. You are so obtuse and superficial. You only remember the sweet little girl who played with you. But you were incapable of really observing her, understanding her, and grasping her nuances. You were so blinded by her hugs and sweetness that you overlooked how weak, angry, sad, selfish, and envious she could sometimes be. You can't admit that alongside her inner light, there was also restlessness and darkness. How dare you insult her like that! I was always with her. And sure. And sure what? Did it never occur to you that she may have left you in the box because she was ashamed of you? What? What are you saying? I'm sure it was just a coincidence that you were hastily put away after her friends called you old and shabby, right? What did they say again? Hey, Alicia, do you still play with stuffed animals? Look how filthy it is. Keep it away from me, it probably has fleas. <laughs> That's enough. You've spent months in that stinking box since then. Or was it years? Is this the little girl you want to save? <laughs> I SAID THAT'S ENOUGH! Finally. That's the real you. A creature with a rage so strong, it transforms its own fury into blazing infernal flames. A power worthy of a demon. A power that for now is best placed in my hands. We're almost there, Teddy. 
I'll take care of making you the monster you were always meant to be. In this nightmare, there is no place for heroic knights in shining armor. Yes, I try to kill her, but she's much more powerful than she looks. Well, you're here now. That's what counts. When you're feeling better, we can carry on. The mermaid's body has jammed the garbage disposal. That was nice of her. She opened the passage for us to get out. Maybe she wasn't so bad after all. Come on. <laughs> 